Well, hello, folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunstock Reviews. We're here at the Ben Avery Shooting Facility with Freddie Blish. Hey, Jamil. How good you doing, you. Freddie? Good, good. Hey, Freddie, um, we did a, a video before with, you know, one of your tools. Correct. But guess what? I guess you have more than one tool. Total of three, actually, but the uh, the next tool that we want to talk about is a combat sight tool. So the first one was a combat optic tool, but uh, one of the things that had been asked to me both by the, you know, uh, the Marine Corps, this has a national stock number, so if you're in the military or federal law enforcement, you can order, it's an NSN item, and of course it has a patent number as well, but I had Marines and, and some Army Special Forces guys that asked if, hey, can you develop the tool where it will have both the ability to adjust the uh, fixed front sights on say uh, M4s uh, or M16A4s, or also you know, some of our mounts that we use uh, are half inch, uh, cross bolt mounts like Leupold and Warren and others and so we uh, already had a tool that was kind of in design and we were able to modify that design to allow us to get a tool that uh, we can then do uh, you know some adjustment of both front sight but it does many other things too which is really neat so so just like the combat optic tool where I can adjust windage and elevation on 8 point micros and the Comp M5S as well as you know, tighten the mounts and, uh, you know, for the Aimpoint 3 power magnifier, uh, you know, works also with the Trigicon MRO, uh, you know, also the older Aimpoint Comp M2s, 3s, and the Comp M4. So it does all of the things that a combat optic tool can do, but we've got some additional features. Again, one is the uh, ha half inch open faced wrench which allows us to tighten down mounts. Maybe they've come loose during use, and you just, you know, it's not gonna get you that nice, uh, you know, torque wrench uh, setting that you want, but it'll be very close. You can get it very tight, uh, and then when you have the opportunity then, you know, to do it correctly, you can. Um, but one of the nice features is this feature here where on both the, uh, Magpul inbus sights, I can use it to adjust the front sight elevation as well as on a standard fixed front sight post like this one here on the Springfield Armory Saint. I can also do it with these uh, iron sights where again I can adjust the front sight post elevation using this uh, punch right here. The other thing that's really neat about it is that sometimes you get rifles where you go to disassemble them, you, you push on the takedown pin, and it's really tough, you can't get it. You can use this pointy to push it, get it started, and then come around to this side, use that V-notch to then pull it out. And so it helps you then disassemble uh, your AR for cleaning or anything like that. And the other nice feature is if you've got a pistol grip that you can use for storage, uh, if you want to put a piece of 550 cord, it'll keep it from rattling. But what it does is you can store it. If you can get it open. If I because... can get it open, there we go. You can store it inside of that pistol grip. So now you uh, can just store it there. You've always you could put one with every one of your uh, your carbines, so that if you're you know when you got a zero or fix the mounts, tighten the mounts, you're able to then store it in any of those ARs that have pistol grips with storage devices. So there, there we go, you got it. That's awesome, and again, the price is the same as the other one. Well, it's 1995, 1995 retail, for... again, made in the United States, cut from 316 stainless steel. Um, now, the only downside to this is the, uh, the punch right there. If you were carrying that in your pocket, it can kind of poke you a little bit. So my good friend John Habit at Hog Holsters, and also actually Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged Leather makes a leather version of this as well. But with this Kydex holster, I've got to put my lanyard, and I got the little Kydex holster, and it snaps right in there, and I can just put it right in my pocket, and I don't have to worry about it poking me in the pocket if that's how I prefer to carry it. And for those of us that are real patriotic, you can get it red uh, with a red, white, and blue lanyard. You can order these off of my website, combatsitetool.com, or uh, from John Abbott at Hog Holsters, helping American wear guns, A H A W G holsters. Yeah, John is another great patriot. Former Marine. Yes. So, guys, 
Thanks, Freddie, for Thank you, describing this uh, great tool. And like always, guys, please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range.